Welcome back to Top 5 Water Repairs. In today's topic, I'll tell you guys three main reasons why your ABS light is on. So the first most common cause is going to be a bad wheel speed sensor. So basically the purpose of the wheel speed sensor is to monitor the rotational speed of each wheel. In most cases, let's just say you get a wheel speed sensor code that's causing the ABS light to turn on. About 90% of the time, it's not gonna be a wheel speed sensor, but it's gonna be cause something like brake dust or rotor metal that's accumulate on the wheel speed sensor. So basically most wheel speed sensors are magnetic and you can have brake dust or dirt. Again, rotors materials that have been worn, it can accumulate on this tip right here. Once it accumulate on that, it cannot get a proper reading between the wheel speed sensor and reluctor. The quickest way to fix that problem is going to be removing the uh, wheel speed sensor and just get yourself a regular towel or shop rag or whatever and just go ahead and just, and just wipe it off and clean it off and make sure it's nice and clean that will allow the wheel speed sensor to function properly and it can get a proper reading from the uh, reluctor you're probably wondering what is the reluctor so basically the reluctor can be mounted on the uh, axle it can be mounted on the uh, hub bearings or wheel bearing so basically these reluctor right here they can also become damaged or be or, or there could be a dirt accumulate on it that will also cause improper reading and trigger that abs light so you want to make sure that you also clean the reluctor as well. The next most common problem is going to be low brake fluid. So if your brake fluid is extremely low, it's going to automatically trigger that ABS light. If your brake fluid is low, go ahead and top that off. If that, if that does not uh, fix the problem, most likely you're going to have some other issue. For example, you could have a bad uh, brake level sensor that can be faulty that will trigger the ABS light. You can have a leak somewhere in the uh, hydraulic system that could also cause brake fluid to leak out. So make sure wherever the leak is coming from, go ahead and fix it. So the third most common problem, and it's going to be an expensive one, is going to be a faulty ABS pump or a faulty module. So basically the module is basically a computer that is mounted together with the uh, ABS pump. The quickest way to determine if you got a bad ABS pump is going to be by symptom. For example, if the ABS pump is failing, you're going to notice increased braking distance, unresponsive, um, brakes when you step on a brake pedal you're gonna notice kind of erratic uh, braking when you step on the brake pedal and also you can also use a scan tool such as this one that has ABS feature and that can also help to diagnose the ABS problem I hope you found this video useful thank you for watching subscribe to top 5 auto repairs